All right. All right, shalom. We your brothers of Great Millstone and Branch out in this morning. First and foremost, we give all praises on the glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all your brothers preaching the gospel of truth and sincerity, always in charity. And um, another week of uh, Spirit Like the Wind. You know, another camp day, Don. Another week closer to the coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. You know, another week closer to the destruction and the downfall of this uh, wicked society. Matter of fact, can we start with that? Can a brother start with Galatians 1 and um, verse 6? I think it is. It's the book of Galatians chapter 1 and verse 6. It says, I marvel that ye are... 4, it's verse 4. Galatians 1 and 4. Who gave himself for our... In fact, we start at 1. Verse 1, it says, Paul an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Yehavashai Mashiach. And that's each one, every last one of us. Can a brother get John to... Uh, 16th chapter to 15th verse, you know, did Paul just read that verse again? It says, Paul an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Yahweh. An apostle, so the word apostle means sent away. So Paul was sent away, not of men, but of who? <clears throat> but by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. But and we were sent away by Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior. Go ahead. And the power, uh, the Most High, the Father, who raised him up from the dead. Exactly, man. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, you know? Yahweh Shah came in the name of his father, and we're coming in the name of our uh, of his only begotten son, our Lord. You know? And it says that he he was made an apostle, not of men. He was sent away, not of men. Can we get that in St. John? St. John chapter 16 and verse 15. Uh, 15, 16? 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. This is uh, St. John chapter 15 and verse 16. It says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordain you that you should go and bring forth fruit. And that your fruit should remain. That's it, man. So Yahweh Shah, our Lord, he said, uh, uh, you ain't, you didn't choose me. I chose you. So just like what it said in, in Galatians, the first chapter, Paul said, hey, I was an apostle, but not of men. You know? This is all of Yahweh Shah, because Yahweh Shah chose us, man, to do what? To uh, uh, to go and preach his name. Go ahead. Now, back in, uh, this, this, is, this is it in John. This is Galatians 1 and 2. It says, and all the brethren which are with me. Unto the churches of Galatia, grace be to you and peace from the Most High, the Father, and from our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Mm -hmm. Who and, and notice he's he's saying it to a specific group of people. That's he's right. not saying it to everybody. He's saying to the churches of Galatia. Who was the churches of Galatia? That was Israelites that was scattered amongst Galatia. That's the book. The book of Galatians. It's not for everybody in Galatia. The book right. of Romans. It's not for everybody in the uh, uh, in Rome. It's the churches that was following Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That was amongst these other uh, uh, these other cities, these other countries like the uh, uh, Ephesus, like Galatia, like uh, Col uh, Col I believe it's Colossia, Colossus, uh, uh, Coloss and uh, uh, Rome, all, all throughout. Those are all in James. It says it. This said to the twelve tribes that are scattered abroad. It's not for everybody, man. It's the whole Bible is for a specific group of people, man. And that's the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. In the book of Psalms, one forty nine, is it or one forty seven? It plainly says that the Lord showed this word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He has not dealt so with any other nation. Praise Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shot. That's plain and simple, man. And you other nations, you know it, man. Stop trying to get, trying to find your way into uh, uh, our covenant, man. The Lord is closing up the breaches, man. All right? But that was all I just said. Just, uh, nah, just to back that up real quick, Matthew 15 and 24 it says, But he answered and, and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And that's Yahweh Shai, man. He came to the, for the house of Israel. Right. Not all these other heathen nations and stuff, man. Just yeah. to back that that's up. That's straight out of his own mouth. Matthew 1 and 21. Uh, the angel told Mary, he said, uh, she shall bring forth a son. She, he told it to Joseph, she shall bring forth a son. He shall call his name Yahweh Shai. He shall save his people from their sins. Before he was even born, it was already prophesied that he was coming back to save his people and his people only. Right, because uh, uh, the key word is said in there to the churches that be in Galatia. Exactly. So when you go into that word church, it means to call it up. You know, the Lord said, my sheep hear my voice. Those are the ones that are called. The brother just read it and said what? That I come uh, uh, only for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So that sheep is talking about Israelites. 
The ones that are called out, called out of what? Right. Called out of this darkness into the Lord's marvelous life, like it says in the book of Peter. He said, uh, matter of fact, let's get that. I got and, it. And continue to hold that Galatians on deck. You want that now? Get Bible for sure. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 5. Uh, I'll get to the point. Verse uh, 9. It says, but ye are lively, it's like it, but, but ye are a chosen generation, uh -huh. a royal priesthood. And where did the Lord tell us uh, that? In Exodus. the book of Exodus, Bible yeah. Peshat. So yeah. who is he talking to? Exactly. He's not talking to, when it says ye are a chosen priesthood, uh, I'll just get it. Isn't, this don't apply to everybody, man. This is our book. This is our covenant that the Lord made with our forefathers. This Exodus 19 and verse uh, 5. It says, now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant. Who is the covenant made with? Romans the ninth chapter. All right. The promises, the covenants. All right. Uh, 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 the service of the Lord. That's all. You got that? No. no. Oh, okay. No. I'll, I'll finish all this. It says, now therefore, if ye, Jake was over there teasing like well, that. It. <laughs> it says, now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure <clears throat> unto me above all people. For, for all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and in holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. And man, no matter how many times we go over these precepts, man, it's always a, a, loving, a, a lovely song in our ears, man. It always puts a smile on our face. The Lord said, we're a, a, we're a chosen people above all people on the face of the earth. A peculiar treasure, man. All right? Now, he's not fucking with nobody else, man. And we Israelites, bro. I was watching the, um, uh, the elder uh, in, in, uh, in Dallas. He was out there with the brothers in Houston. The elders and the brothers out there in Houston. He's like, man, we don't need your demon to hop on you. And you might question if we really the Israelites or whatever, man. You have, we have to be the Israelites. What has this is what he said? What has ever moved you to be this dedicated to something, bro? We be out there in the winter, toes frozen up. You can't feel your feet, bro, out there reading the Bible. That's how we know we the Israelites, man. We out there in the hot summer on Saturday, the most popping day of the week. After working, your body is tired a whole week. We out there on Saturday, standing up there for three, four hours in the hot sun. Yeah. If it's raining, we out there. Yeah. If, it, if, it, if it's cold, we out there, man. That's how we know we the Israelites, man. The spirit bear witness with our spirit, man. The Lord has risen us up. That's how we know. We don't need no DNA test. We don't need to go to the so-called white man for nothing, man. This is a gift that the Heavenly Father has given to us from heaven, man. Or well, look at the opposition. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Jake calling themselves Muslims. Who coming against you? Y'all can't, you can't be. Yeah, Jake yeah, called right. themselves Christ Christian. Mm -hmm. Jake, 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 say he this and that. It ain't, it, you know, it ain't no opposition. Oh, you ain't that and you ain't. But look at the opposition that's coming against us for men who are better in their lives by believing that they're the Israelites according to the Bible. We spoke about this on the line yesterday. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Uh, men stopped selling drugs. They stopped gang banging. They stopped, they stopped, they stopped all manner of evil and wickedness, doing man. drugs, not just selling drugs, but doing drugs, pills and smoking cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Like we broke, words. we broke away from addictions. And, and, and became the most outstanding, uh, outstanding citizens in this country, man. Yeah, yeah. But people looking like, no, you ain't supposed to do, no, you, 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 you supposed to be smoking. Yeah. You, you supposed yeah. to be out there murdering each other, man. That's how they look at us. Go ahead, uh. But 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 because of the Lord, right? Uh, go, let's go back into it. Exodus nineteen and six. It says, "And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests yep. and holy nation." So you know where uh, uh, Peter is quoting that out of? You're right. He's quoting that out of the book of Exodus that we just read. Mm -hmm. It says, "A holy nation." Can a brother get what's that? Uh, Deuteronomy fourteen and two, real quick. Because we know we know the state the staple Deuteronomy seven, seven and six. Yeah, yeah. Deuteronomy 14 and 6. 14 and 2. I mean, 14 and 2, it says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power, and the Lord have chosen thee to be a peculiar people. A what? A peculiar people. Read that. What that said again? It says, And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and holy nation. These are the words. Did it say a peculiar people in there? Uh, that's, it. that's what you oh, read. No, no, I jump up. I jump up. It's like you. Um, Exodus 19 and 5, it says, Now therefore, if you will obey my voice in No, no, you, you and Peter. You, uh, read Peter again, brother. Yeah, it's, it's in Exodus 2. You. All right, I'll get to Peter. It's 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. It says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people. And that's what we wanted, because that's right. what Peter is quoting. Right. Peter is quoting what's written in the Old Testament. Right. And the Old Testament is only written to who? You know? 
But, but what, that's beautiful because it's in the old and in the new. Exactly. Man. Because yeah. they go together. What were they reading from in the New Testament? When they said, as it is written. As it is written where? Not in the book of Revelation. That wasn't written till later. As it is written in Exodus. As it is written in the Psalms. As it is written in the prophet Isaiah and Jeremiah. That's where they're quoting from. Was that it on that though? Uh, I'll just read it out. Uh, Deuteronomy 14 and 2. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power, and the Lord have chosen thee to be a, a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. That's beautiful. What that sound like? Racism. <laughs> they're, they're, they're clearly straight cut. The definition of it, man. The Lord, he said we are above all these nations, man. That's simple and plain right there, man. And racism right. just means for your people, man. The Lord is for his people, man. So we should be for our people, man. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all, that's all man. Uh, finishing on Exodus 19 and 6, it says, And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and in holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So it only a place. Uh, it, so when we read, go back into Peter, and we're reading this, oh, Cornelius. Oh, yeah, Peter went to Cornelius, though, right? Well, how come in, in this letter of Peter, he, he's quoting from a scripture that only applies to Israel, showing you that Cornelius had to be an Israelite, man? Well, Paul, well, Paul Peter said it. Peter P Peter said that uh, uh, I perceive that the Most High is no respect of persons, mm -hmm. that in all nations, uh, 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 them that fear of the Lord, the Lord, the Lord have granted repentance, man. You know? All nations, you talking about what? All, all these Israelites that scattered uh, abroad within these nations. Because when you read up, he said what? That uh, you know there is an unlawful thing I got it. for it. Go ahead. This is Acts chapter 10 and verse 28. It says, and he said unto them, ye know how that it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company or come unto one of another nation. Now when you go into that word another nation, it's a, a Greek a, word and it's a, a compound word. Greek word. Which means alafulos. When you break that word down, uh, Allah means uh, uh, another, and uh, uh, fulos means of another tribe, man. So it goes into uh, uh, what? Descendant of Israel. It goes into uh, um, uh, uh, it's an unlawful thing for one that is a Jew to go to one of another tribe. Why? Because they discontinued from their heritage. They were looking at them as they were cut off from the promise, man. Go ahead. It says. How it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company or come unto one of another nation. But Yahweh has showed me that I should not call any man common or unclean. Therefore came I unto you without gainsaying as soon as I sent for. I asked therefore for what intent ye have sent for me. And Cornelius said, four days ago, I was fasting until this hour. And at the ninth hour, I prayed in my house. And behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing. An angel, right? It says, said, oh, and said, Cornelius, thy prayer is heard. And thine alms are, are hide in remembrance in the sight of Yahweh. And that's a key thing right there. It says, thy prayer is heard, man. In the book of Sirach, it says that the prayer of the righteous pierces the clouds. You know? Mm -hmm. The Lord said, he that turneth his ear away from hearing the law, even his prayer is an abomination. These heathens don't want to hear the law, so how can they pray unto the Lord? So that's letting you know his prayers was heard in heaven. That's a sign right there, man. Go ahead. Because yeah, it talks about the angel, uh, uh, Raphael, if I'm not mistaken, that receives the, uh, the prayers of the saints in the heavens, man. You can go into the revelations. It talks about it in uh, Tobit, man. So the Lord is receiving the prayers of the saints. What are saints? The Israelites. Yes, you know? It says, send therefore to Joppa and call hither Simon, whose surname is Peter. He is lodged in the house of one Simon, a tanner, by the sea, by the seaside, who, when he cometh, shall speak unto thee. Immediately, therefore, I sent to thee, and thou hast well done that thou art come. Now, therefore, are we all here present before Yahweh to hear all things that are commanded thee of Yahweh. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that Yahweh is no respecter of persons, but in every nation. And he clearly said, who, uh, uh, in every, uh, he read it up. Yeah. He come from another nation, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, But in every nation, he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. That's it, man. You know? So the Israelites are scattered amongst these other people, man. Hey, they return and repent and come back to Yahweh, Shah, the Lord is going to accept him. <laughs> right. 
And it says, um, <coughs> I'll just read again, Acts chapter 10 and 35, it says, But in every nation he that feareth him and worketh righteousness, when you go on that word righteousness in the Greek, it's dikios, di dikios, which means observing the Heavenly Father's laws. Who is the laws given to? You can read about that in, in, the, in the first five books. Psalms 147 that we just quoted say he showeth his statutes and his judgments on the Jacob. He has not dealt so with any other nation. The Romans 9 that we quoted earlier. You got it? Yeah. Bible for sure. This is Romans chapter 9 and verse 3. It says, For I could wish that myself were a curse from a Mashiach, my brother, uh, from a Mashiach, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. For his brethren, his kinsmen, right? Isn't Paul, he, he's supposed to be the, the, uh, uh, the, the apostle to the Gentiles, right? Well, he said to his brethren, to his kinsmen, so he's making... A lot, he's drawing the line, right? Go ahead. Right, according to the flesh, who are Israelites? Who are what? Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? His brethren and his kinsmen are Israelites. That's who Yahweh Shai Mashiach came and died for. That's who he was the curse for. His brother and his kinsmen who are Israelites, right? Go ahead. To whom pertains the adoption? So the adoption and pertains onto the Israelites, and when you go into that word adoption, it goes to the Greek word huotesia, which means the covenant. And, uh, that the Lord, but that the Heavenly Father made with the Israelites in preference of all the other nations, which goes back to Deuteronomy 7 and 6, right? But go ahead. And the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law. And the giving of the law. What do you say, Galatians 4? The Lord God. came to... Re go ahead. I hey, this is Galatians 4 and chapter 4. Uh, it's Galatians chapter 4 and verse 4. It says, But when the fullness of the time was come, the Most High sent forth His Son, Made of a woman. The Heavenly Father sent, up, sent forth His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. So this is cut in John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. The Heavenly Father loved what world? That He gave His only begotten Son. This is going to tell you. Right? Go ahead and start from the top of that. It says, But when the fullness of time was come, the Most High Power, Yahweh, sent forth His Son. Right. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Well, this is going to show you which world that's talking about. Right? Go ahead. Made of a woman. Uh-huh. Made under the law. What law was that? That was the law of compilation. All right? Or not the law of compilation. That was the uh, law of purification. Right? Go ahead. To redeem them. Made uh, under the whole law. Because right, right. Flesh, uh, Yahweh Shah came in the flesh. Mm -hmm. He was born in the likeness of sinful man. He, so he was under the law, man. That's why he was able to uh, fulfill it. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he walked perfect, you know, uh, in this flesh, man. Yeah, and the first the first law uh, that a man keeps is what getting circumcised on the eighth day. You know what I'm saying? That's the so he he went through all those steps. You know what I'm saying? So that shows you right there the law was not done away with when Yahweh Shai came. If Yahweh Shai came, he went to been circumcised. He went to kept the Passover. He went to been keeping the Sabbath. The other uh, 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 high holy days, so on and so forth. The law was still intact, man. All right, but go ahead. Right, to redeem them that were under the law. To redeem them that was under the law. Who was the law given to? The Israelites. Plain and simple. That we might receive the adoption that we of sons. Might receive the adoption of sons. Again, that word adoption. Look it up. Alright. Yep. So hey, to who to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory of the Romans covenant. nine, right? Con, so like it. Romans nine and four. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the most high. And the promises. It says, "Whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Yahweh Shai Mashiach came, who is over all, uh, power blessed forever, among." That's it. Right. That's it. It says, "Concerning the flesh, he came, man." So that, that, that straight cut to the right. point. So I'll finish on this Acts real fast, and then Peter. Let yeah, yeah, and whatever brothers got. This is Acts chapter 10 and verse 35. It says, But in every nation he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. The word which Yahweh sent unto the children of Israel. This is Acts the 10th chapter where the, where the Gentiles are supposed to be getting grafted in, right? It just said, The word which the Heavenly Father sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Yahweh Shai Mashiach, he is Lord of all. Right? This is only pertains to us, man. This is not for everybody else. Every time a Jake come up, they thinking about Esau. Trying to join Esau. Because our people got fucking Stockholm Syndrome, man. We've been the, uh, under Esau's hands so much. These niggas begin to have some weird type of love connection with their oppressors, man. We telling you that you a nation of kings and priests. And that we have an inheritance coming to us. A kingdom coming to us where we're on top. And everybody that did us wrong is going out to service. And you talking about what about them? They that wasn't thinking about what about you when they when they called you three fifths of a human being. 
They wasn't thinking about you when they was calling you savages. When they was taking your fucking land, they wasn't thinking about you then. So why the hell is you thinking about them when we going into the scripture showing you that the covenant is only for us, that the kingdom is only for us, man? This is the book of uh, Acts, chapter 26, and verse uh, 6. It says, And now I stand and am judged for the hope of the promise made of the Most High unto our fathers. And this is uh, Paul speaking, right? We just read what he said in Romans, the ninth chapter. All right, and this is the apostle of the Gentiles, like your brother said. It says, uh, verse uh, 7, it says, Unto which promise our twelve tribes instantly serve in the Most High day and night hope to come. So as Paul was teaching, he was teaching concerning the promises and the hope to come upon who? The 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, man. It says, uh, for which hope's sake, King Agrippa, I am accused of the Jews. You know? So while like you ain't asking me, just get this too then. This is Acts 2 and uh, 21. It says, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Shah shall be saved. See, whosoever, anybody can make it, right? Right, and they, they, that's what that, that's why they try to uh, you know squeeze in. You know what I'm saying? With that whosoever, and uh, see that applies to everybody, man. But then when you read the the next vor the next verse, it says, "Ye men of Israel, hear these words, man." And once again, that's telling you right there, Yahweh Shah, yeah, yeah, he came for his people, man. Not everybody. When he died, he died for his people. Not everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, we got to let go of these strongholds that's put upon us and, and thinking that Esau can be saved. And, and then when you find out, when you when you tell Jake, like you were saying, you tell Jake that, hey, this is for his people, man. It ain't for everybody. They want to say, hey, what about Esau? You know what I'm saying? When you tell them yeah, how was was so-called black, they like, what about Esau? I mean, it's, you know, it's always about... The one that oppress you, the one that have a perpetual hatred towards you that you trying to always ask about it and include him to, into something that don't belong to them, unto him, man. You know, we got to, hey, we can, we got to let go our enemy, man. Our enemies, we got to let them go, man. We hey, And stop trusting in them, man. Right. Thinking that they going to change or thinking that, oh, man, not all of them and this and that, man. If you're an Edomite, hey, they can't be trusted, man. They're your enemy and they going to mm -hmm. constantly forever hate you, man. To the end, and that's why we say fuck Martin Luther King, because he he was trying to make Jake he he was trying to integrate Jake with uh, uh Esau Edom, all right. He, he was trying to uh, uh make Jacob and Esau come together. That that was never supposed to happen. In the book of Genesis, the twenty fifth chapter, it says the two nations struggled together within their wombs, and they was two different manners of people, and uh, uh uh they shall be separated from the womb. We was meant to be separated. We was meant to be segregated. Segregated was the best thing for us, all right. But uh, us, cause, cause why? Cause we knew who the enemy was. Now because of Martin Luther King, all right, uh, uh, you know the nigga's a demon if he got a holiday in America, all right. But you know, uh, 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 but then he pushed that what, integrating with them, and now niggas don't even know that the so-called white man is the devil. Now niggas don't even know that the so-called white man is their enemy, man. So really, segregation was a good thing for us. But I'll hop back into this, Peter. This is 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. It says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And that's the key thing right there. It says, Who have called you out of darkness. Ooh. Go back to that Galatians. This is Galatians chapter 1 and verse. Because uh, it said to the churches Ooh. that be in Galatia. The word church means called out. So the Lord has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. We're the church, man. Uh -huh. The Israelites, that's, 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 that's uh, what, it, what it says in Isaiah. Y'all like to quote it a lot. Or is Ezekiel? To them that uh, uh, return from transgression yeah, and, 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 and Jacob. Yeah, yeah say uh, them that yeah, to Zion. Zion. Unto I them. just grabbed it. It's Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 19. It says, So shall they fear the Lord, Yahweh, from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion. And unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord Yahweh. And that's it, man. The Redeemer, the Redeemer is Yahweh Shai. He's he, he, he redeemed us through what? Through his blood, yeah, through yeah. his sacrifice. Said he's going to come to Zion and unto them 
that uh, 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 finished that? It says, and the Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, exactly. saith the that's, Lord. That's who repentance is for. Repent ye because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Mm -hmm. Go not into the way of the Gentiles and in, into any of the cities of, of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Israel. And as ye go, preach, preach saying, saying the kingdom, kingdom of, of heaven, heaven is, is at hand. hand, man. Same thing John was preaching. John was preaching what? Repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing we're doing now. Here yep. we are in America, but that don't mean, hey, that, hey, salvation <laughs> is for all right, these people, changed. man. Hey, nah, we talking about the, the chosen people that's here in a, in America, man. Mm -hmm. you know? Hey, I was trying to say him yesterday, today, and forever. Man, he don't change, man. Hey, the Lord changed if not. So in the Old Testament, he was the same. In the New Testament, he was the same. Here in 2019, he the same. He only dealing with the nation of Israel. He has not dealt so with any other nation. Uh, I'm going to finish on this, and then you got that. Verse 21. It says, as for me, this is my covenant with them. Only Israel, right? Saith the Lord, my spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth. That's why what we're saying is not going to fail. And this vocab, well, what if you're wrong? We're not wrong, nigga, because this is not our own words. This is the words of the Heavenly Father, and his words will not come back void, man. All right? The words that he speaks is faithful and true. It says, my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed seed, save the Lord Yahweh from henceforth and forever. And what is this scripture going into? The second covenant. All right? And the word covenant and the word testament, they're both synonymous. So really, you can say the Old Testament, you can call it the Old Covenant. The New Testament, you can call it the, old, the, the New Covenant. And both the covenants was given unto who? We read it in Romans. We just read it now. It's only for the nation of Israel, man. But you got it, brother. Yeah, just to back up the point, the brother was saying how repentance is for Israel. This is uh, Acts chapter 13 and verse uh, 23. Of this man's seed hath the Most High, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior. Yeah, according to his promise. Where did he promise that at? He promised that in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, it says what? That the Lord, when he comes, he's going to come out of the loins of King David. He's going to come out of the lineage, the seed line of King David, man. So if they're saying this uh, Jesus Christ character that they're talking about, he didn't, he didn't, he wasn't born by uh, uh, any man on this earth, then he wouldn't fit the prophecy. He wouldn't fit the promise, which makes him not the Messiah, right? Now, Yahweh Shai, he came from the lineage of King David, of King Solomon, all the way down to Joseph, man, as the promise, as the prophecy was written about in the Old Testament, all right? Verse 24, when John had first preached before his coming, the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. and as Of who? Of Israel. Of all the people. See, everybody. Of Israel. This only pertains to Israel. In the Old Testament, it's only talking about Israel. In the New Testament, it's only talking about Israel. Mm -hmm. It says, and as John fulfilled his course, he said, whom think ye that I am? And that's what it's all about, man. Fulfilling our course. All right. John fulfilled his course. All right, Yahweh Shai fulfilled his course in that time. Uh, 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 in that time, John fulfilled his course. You know, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai fulfilled his course. Uh, Paul said he he fulfilled his course. You know, all, all those men that died in faith, they fulfilled their course. Now we back here on this earth, and we need to fulfill our course, man. Yahweh Shai said, "Ye that follow me in the regeneration, I'll sit you upon. When the Son of Man shall uh uh come in His glory, ye shall sit upon thrones. When the Son of Man is uh, is about to come in His glory, man." So as long as we continue to follow him and stay faithful in him, man, he's going to sit us upon thrones. He's going to make us a kingdom of priests and a, and, 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 a, 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 and a kingdom of kings, right? Mm -hmm. It says, and as John fulfilled his course, he said, whom think ye that I am? I am not he, but behold, there cometh one after me, whose shoes of his feet I am not worthy to loose. Yeah, there's that scripture that said, uh, uh, I must decrease that he must increase, roughly paraphrasing, man. This is all about Yahweh Bashami Yahweh Shai, man. It's not about us. It's not about my name. It's not about me getting clout, all right? It's about praising Yahweh Bashami Yahweh Shai. It's about the elect being gathered, man. It said if we suffer for him, then we'll be glorified with him, man. Right now, it's about us being humble servants of the Lord, man. Yahweh Bashami Yahweh Shai gets all the praises, all the glory, and all the honor, man. All right? Verse 26, men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham. Of the what? Stock of Abraham. There it is. And whosoever among you fear the Most High, to you is the word of this salvation sent. All right, so the word of salvation, repentance, all of that is only to those that are of the stock of Abraham. Right. right. Abraham, Isaac, and then Jacob, yeah. you know? Because when you go into that word stock, it goes back to the Greek word genos, 
which means what the nationality to them that's of the nationality of the lineage of the bloodline the pedigree of Abraham Isaac and Jacob that's what uh, who it pertains to Back in that Galatians chapter 1 and verse 2, it says, And all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia, the called up out of darkness into the marvelous light that was thoroughly just proven through the Spirit. Go ahead. Grace be to you and peace from the Most High, the Father, and from our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, who gave himself for our sins. Oh, we just, our, we just, we, we, that was thoroughly proven through the Spirit as well. Go ahead. That he might deliver us from this present evil world. And that's the key thing we wanted right there, man. That we may be delivered from this present evil world, man. Because this world that we see is corrupt and it's all, all its doings, man. And the people that's within this place. You see? So our mindset should be what, man? Hey, 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 uh, cleaning, cleansing ourselves. Uh, brother, grab that Ephesians. What's that? 5 and 26. Cleansing ourselves through the spirit as best as we can, man. Psalms 119 and 9. You know? Because why? Because this present this this present world is evil, man. It's filthy. It's polluted. Go ahead. It says, "Who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world, according to the will of the Most High and our Father." According to the will of the Most High, man, that we might be delivered out of this filthiness, man. Because you got a lot of people that come up and say, "Oh, what you're saying, uh, we want to hear." Like last week, we was dealing with dude. We want to hear uh, 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 your opinion and what you think. I don't want to hear the scripture. The Bible, that's outdated. No, it, it, it's, it's still relevant, man. It's more relevant today more than right. ever, man. Yeah, right. Because it's, it's, it's to deliver us out of this present evil world, man. Mm -hmm. And if that world that Paul was living in was evil, how much more is the world we're living in today, man? Right. Worse. Like it says in the book of Second Edges, man, how you're going to see more evils than you yeah. see during that time that's going to be done in the latter times, man. Why? Because the earth is weaker with age. These people is more polluted and wicked more than ever, man. More immoral, like the brother said. People ain't got no standards, man. Hey, a brother had posted in the WhatsApp. Uh, 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 um, I forgot this. Uh, uh, I'm mad as hell. I don't remember the state, man. Damn, I don't remember the state. But it's a fucking flyer uh, uh, going around uh, talking about uh, uh, all men, all women are welcome, man. And all women must suck ride and all men must uh, 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 eat booty. So they, they got a flyer about a whole big ass orgy, man. And they said it's gonna be a thousand dollar dick sucking contest, man. All kind of madness. Man, this is this is this is the filth and in, 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 in the sick, perverted ass place we live in, man. Probably Vegas. And, and it's crazy thing, it wasn't even Vegas, bro. Right. You would think it was Atlanta. It wasn't even Atlanta, bro. I'm, it was some weird San ass. It's some, it's a, it San wasn't Atlanta. even San Francisco, yeah. bro. Yeah. Well, it's really, yeah. Kansas City. It, it was some <laughs> weird. I forgot. It ain't no, you know. It's in the. It, it's in the states, right, but right. it's like uh, I want to say like fucking Alabama or some shit, but that's just a guess. I don't even remember the uh, the state, and it's a small, and it's not like a known yeah, city yeah. within that state either, man. This is the madness that we're living in, man, and, and, and people love to just walk up and down and just they think all oh, this shit is cool, man. No, man, the Lord said what that they to deliver us from this present evil world, man. So we ought to be doing what, man? Hey, hey, making sure we're 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 staying as cleansed as we can yeah. in the spirit, man. Because yeah. that's how your how about Shami Yahusha is going to sup with us. Mm -hmm. What happened when Akan uh, 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 um, uh, uh, sinned in that uh, curse thing, man? Israel got smitten before his enemies, and Joshua was like, "Lord, you, you said you was you was going to deliver. Right. You said you was with us. Right. What did the Lord tell Joshua? He said, "Hey, Israel has sinned in a curse thing. Therefore, I can't be in the midst of that, man." Right. Hey, the Lord can't be in the midst of us if we filthy and wretched and dirty, man. So therefore, we got to constantly examine ourselves to make sure that we're walking in the light of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, man. Making sure that we're clean, that we're, 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 we're without spot. That's the, that's the importance of the brotherhood, man, because also you examine yourself certain things you might miss. Here it is, you cleaning yourself off. You might got a spot on your back. But like, you forgot that, brother. Oh, man, hey, the water, huh? Yeah, I didn't even see that. Yeah, you know? So this is the brotherhood, man. This is the job that, that, that the Lord has called us unto, man. Uh, it says that uh, my meat do the will of him that sent me and to finish the work. The work is what? I endure all things for the elect's sake. It's to present each other uh, 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 holy and, and, and blameless in the eyes of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. I had a quick one for you, just on that point. This is Proverbs 18 and 17. It says, He that is first in his own cause seemeth just, but his neighbor cometh and searcheth him. So, yeah, that's, you, uh, in your own eyes, you seem like you good, you first, right? Uh, uh, like
like you're on top of your game, okay? But then your brother will come in and point out something that you didn't peep or that you didn't catch. And it's not, and really it's you to humble yourself down because at first you thought you was all good. But your brother's now, he's coming to you and telling you you missed the spot. In your mind, you can't just be like, man, I'm all good. Now you're going to be like, oh, the water, like y'all was just saying, the water for showing me that. Because at first I thought I was straight, but now I'm not, man. Or, but I really wasn't. And that could have got me jacked up. That's why in the book of Corinthians, I believe it says, if any man thinketh that he stand, let him take heed lest, that he, lest he fall, man. Let him take heed. Let him take heed to what? To reproof, to correction that comes to him. All right? Let him take heed to the scriptures, the videos that's being put out there. All right, just because one person is getting cut, that means, you know, yeah, that nigga's going off. Now you apply them scriptures to yourself and make sure that you live into the standard. Mm -hmm. it, not on no emo shit, but you got to cut yourself. You know what I'm saying? Well, Spiritually. It, this is also called the measuring. Uh, it said, hear ye the rod and whoever pointed it. The rod is a, <clears throat> is a measuring <clears throat> instrument. This is, this is the measuring stick, man. You also what? The, you measure yourself according to what? The measuring stick, man. In the book of Revelation 11, uh -huh. yep. it says, uh, 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 measure the, uh, uh, the temple and those that worship within it. How do you measure the temple? According to the standard, man. According to the word of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. And, and the water, brother. Hey, Shalom and all you brothers on the comment board as well. The brother said it's in Indianola, Missouri, and it's exactly that, man. Indianola, and we got an uh, uh, Indianola uh, uh, avenue out here, right? <laughs> right. You know, Indianola, Damn. Missouri, bro. I never heard of that place, bro. Indianola, Missouri. Damn. A big and a flyer about a big ass, nasty ass orgy, man. You do you imagine the smells that's gonna be in that bitch? Ugh, oh, straight pigs. Oh, you, know, you know, this is Rome again. It's a but sick, perverted ass place, man. You know how much STDs and perverseness gonna be spread in that goddamn place, man. Sodomites Trust. too, I bet. You know what I'm saying? Hey, cause this place, this place is worse than Sodom and Gomorrah, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it, Man, this is the worst place ever. Yeah, this, this we live the in the times of, of the worst of all times, man. You know, it's, man. Man, I had to, uh, go ahead, though. It's First John 5 and 19. It says, and we know that we are of Yahweh, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. Exactly, man. And that's why it says in what, uh, uh, what's that, Micah 2 and 10? Yeah. Arise ye and depart, because this is not your rest. You know, so it said that hey, the Lord uh, gave himself for us that he might deliver us from this present evil world. Hey, this place ain't got nothing for us, man. This place ain't got nothing for us, man. So our time, our dedication, our minds, like the brother said, here we got to be the Israelites, man. What, 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 whatever have you ever been more dedicated in, man? Yeah, moved. You know, we have to be the Israelites, man. Because who is more, who who is so animate and on fire about the things that's written within this book than us, man? Right. And I mean teaching this thing directly and correctly. You got guys that's yeah. hot for the virgin birth. Oh, that's blasphemy. Mary was a virgin. That ain't what the Bible say, bro. That don't, that don't line up precept upon precept, bro. All nations can be saved. Every Everybody in Jesus. No, dog. No. What about these scriptures? It says in Israel. What about these scriptures, bro? Right, right. So you 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 got a zeal, but that's not according to knowledge, knowledge, man. You you know that's not that's not it. Right. But who has a zeal according to righteousness, according to truth, man? Yep. Who's out there teaching it directly and correctly, man? Rightly dividing the word of truth. Who's doing that, man? You see? We have to be the Israelites, man. That's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect. If we mm -hmm. endure and continue to do the things that's written in here. That's it. We got it, man. Hey, the Lord said, This is the victory. Even thy faith, and this is him that overcometh the world, man. We just got to maintain the course. Continue doing what we're doing, man. Continue to examine ourselves. Continue putting out these lessons. Continue to hit the highways and hedges. Go ahead. This is 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 10. It says, Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make their calling and election sure. And that goes back to the scriptures I called for, man. About what? About washing yourself. Mm -hmm. You know? Can we hit them real quick? Yep. Uh, this is uh, <clears throat> Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. It says that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. With the washing of water by the word, man. So we we got to continually wash ourselves, you know. Psalms 119, it says, where with them? You got that too? I got it. This is Psalms 119 and 9. It says, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking he... There too. Oh no, no, brother! By listening. By taking heed, there too, according to thy by word. By taking heed, meaning you gotta apply these things that were that, that that's being taught, man. 
Not by hearing, but by doing. doing yeah. Otherwise, you're a deceiver of your own self. That's actually a beautiful precept because it says that uh, you deceive your own self. It's like as one that yeah. behold itself in the mirror. You got it? Yeah, huh. this is James chapter 1 and verse 22. It says, I'll start at 21. Because that saying, because when you look in the mirror, you're looking and making sure that you're clean. You're making sure that you ain't got no any, any specks on your face, a, 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 anywhere on your body. That you're looking good, presentable, right? And who are we trying to present ourselves to? To Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. This is James chapter 1 and verse 21. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and mm -hmm. superfluity of naughtiness and and receive with meekness the engrafted, engrafted word. word. When you go into that word, word, it's synonymous with doctrine. So there's a specific doctrine that's what? Which is able to save your soul. That's able to save your soul. Who's pushing that doctrine? You can think about that. Go ahead. Verse 22, but be ye doers of the word. Be ye doers of the word, right? And not hearers only. And not hearers only. So when you hear the word, you're supposed to act on it. I believe, therefore have I spoken. With faith comes works, right? It says, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. You're deceiving your own self, thinking you're really doing something. And Salaka, that just reminds me, because even, even at work, we got people that will uh, uh, they'll go and they'll study and they'll learn a certain trait. But they don't put any any work hours into their trait, so they'll come into this job, right? And they'll be they'll be making decent money, but they can't do the job even though they studied for it. And you have you have other people, you know, you have the like Jakes, man. They've been doing it their whole life, and they're real good at it. And these people coming in with degrees and stuff, man. Yeah, okay, they heard it, yeah. they, they studied, they took yeah. tests, but they didn't apply yeah. what they were learning. Yeah, don't you know? These jobs, they would rather have much more have someone with experience right. than someone with a degree. I could not have a degree, but I've been doing you. So let's say we both graduate at the same time. At, uh, 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 we both was 18. We graduate at the same time. You did four years of college. Instead of me doing college, I just started at the bottom and worked my way up. Yeah. So when you graduate, I have more experience. They'll put me on before they put you on because you just book smart. You ain't never applied none of that shit that you learned, right? If you can go back into that. It says... Uh... For if any, verse 23, for if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For in he, a glass in a mirror, right? He's looking at himself in the mirror, right? For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straight, straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. And straightway, as soon as he leave that mirror, he, he forgot what he was looking at. Still got the booger in his nose. Still got wax falling out his ear, man. Crust all. Uh, Dwight is his best friend. <laughs> Wire all around his lips. You know Sleep what I'm saying? His hair eye. nappy as hell. Hey, because that, that, that's showing you the foolishness of hearing the word and not doing it. All right. Because he said that uh, 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 he beholdeth his natural face in a glass. Picture yourself looking at yourself in the mirror. And as soon as you walk away from that mirror, you forget right. what you look like. Mm -hmm. Everybody know, like, and say, say if you see a fucking still of you on the internet, or, or like we see ourselves, you know, you be like, damn, that's me. Where they get that picture of me from? You know that's you, like, nigga, that's me, nigga, because I know what I look like. Dude, imagine you going into the mirror and walking away from that mirror, and you straightway forget right. the manner of man right. you was. You straightway forget your whole appearance uh -huh. and how you looked. Yep. You'll be like, hey, who the fuck, who the fuck does that? How you forget who, well, what you look like? Right. That's the same thing likened unto a guy that's hearing these words and not applying it and not doing it, man. Yep. And we see examples of that. Like people that come to the camp, this is what we do. We put the mirror in front of them, right? We tell them, this is who you are. We bring in all these pieces. This is who you are. Yeah, yeah, brother. You see them later on or the next week you see them. You see them. This nigga forgot who, what's your nationality. I'm black. I'm African American. One time that happened right at camp. We went through a whole right, yeah. freaking. We went through like a thousand precepts saying that he was a Jake. He's like, yeah. Then right after when he was about to leave. So what's your nationality? I'm black. Nigga, what? We just went through a thousand precepts and you were shaking your head. You were smiling. You were saying that's right. This is what I believe in. And then right when you about to leave, you forgot everything that we said. He, he forgot what he looked. Like. He forgot who he was. In the mirror when we were showing him, he's like, yeah, that's who I am. That's me. As soon as he left, he forgot well, He forgot who, who the hell he was. That's what that scripture is going into. It says, verse 26, it says, uh, or verse 25, But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he... Continueth therein. It's a constant, it's a constant thing. It's not, oh, just on Saturday. It's not, oh, I, I did my 10 years. I did my 5 years. You know, it is until the Lord comes back, man. All right? Until we're saved at this place. 
It says, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. That's it, man. Trying to be blessed, man. You're trying to have a Lord look on our works, man, and, and be pleased therewith. Just like how he looked on Abel's sacrifice and it said what, man? Hey, that the Lord accepted it, man. He looked on Cain's sacrifice. He didn't have respect on the Cain's sacrifice, man. Right, right. So there's guys out there who are giving sacrifices. They are. They out there on the highways and hedges. They putting together their lessons and doing all. Yeah, but man, hey, the Lord is not looking on that sacrifice, man. Want the Lord to have respect unto our sacrifice, man. Yeah. And the Lord said, well, he will receive us as a burnt offering. I believe in 2 Peter's, uh, or as it is actually in that 1 Peter's 2, he said, uh, ye are lively stones, a spiritual house to give sacrifice, to give spiritual sacrifices. So we're the sacrifice, man. We got to make sure that our sacrifice is without blemish and without spot. That it's a holy, righteous sacrifice so that the Lord can receive us, so that the Lord can accept us. You got guys making sacrifice without salt. <laughs> the law says every every sacrifice shall be uh, 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 salted with salt, man. Seasoned. Yeah. The salt represent what? The, it represents this wisdom, this word, man. This is uh, real quick. First uh, Peter chapter one and verse twenty one. It says, uh, verse twenty two. Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth. And this is how we're delivered from this present evil world, man. Like it says, uh, I believe it's Colossians. If I'm not mistaken, it says how 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 we're dead to this world, and that we're hid with Yahweh Shah into his and into his return. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture, man. Hey, hey, this, this place has nothing to offer us, man. Go ahead. It says, seeing ye have purified your souls and obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible. By the word of the Most High, which liveth and abideth forever. So just going into it, all right, it said that what? We purify our souls by obeying the truth. We don't purify our souls by just hearing the word. It's an act of obedience, man. And we were going into that on the line, man, through the Spirit. All right, uh, our obedience to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, to the best of our ability, being sincere and so on and so forth, all right, taking heed to these scriptures is going to uh, um, end in our salvation. Lord willing, we endure in that. It's back in Psalms chapter 119 in verse 9. It says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto on, according to thy word? And what did that scripture say? Purifying themselves by what? By the truth. Mm -hmm. So that's why they hate to see us out there on the highways and byways and see us lifting up this standard. Because through this truth, we're cleaning up our nation. Through this truth, we're purifying our, uh, our nation, man. That's what hurt. They like to see us right. drugged out. They like to see us gangbanging and killing each other off, man. They like to see us with tattoos all out over our face with our pants fucking on the ground, man. All right? They like to see all that. But they what they don't like to see, they don't like to see us in our glory. They don't like to see us in our right mind frame. They don't like to see us connected back to, our, to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. That's why this is hurting them, man. That's why great fear fell upon them when the Spirit of the Lord entered into us. It says... Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word with my with with my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. And this is I believe this is King a Psalm of um King David. And he said, What with his whole heart has he sought the Lord, man? Now if we have if we're the house of David, and, and if that's what we're striving to be. We have to we have to follow after that uh that that same um scripture. As a ruler, so is the officer. That's right? it. You know, so we see the mindset of our king. He had a mind after the uh, after the Most High's heart. Uh -huh. So we should follow that same example. That's it. It says, "Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee." Meaning what? He thought upon the the words of the Lord, so that so that what we ain't sinning against the Lord, That's man. It. You know. Doing meaning, meaning what? He 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 did to the best of his ability to live right. Now, as how about Shem Yahweh Shai? Not now, as a man. Not because you got brothers that sit next to all man. Because the eyes of the Lord is ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and mm -hmm. considering the secret parts. Man, meaning what? Meaning your mind, your thoughts, your heart. That's why King David said, "Let the meditation of my heart and the words of my lips be acceptable in thy sight." Man, that's yeah. what it's about, man. 
That's how we're going to be delivered from this present evil world. It's a mindset, man. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be out here conducting ourselves and thinking like what the, 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 the rest of this sick, perverse ass world would think, man. But we're going to walk. We're going to live according to the spirit, according to how the Lord ordained for us to walk, Come man. God. You know? It says, blessed art thou, O Yahweh, teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of my mouth. So there it is, man. I, he said with his lips, I declared it. I made it clear. I made it public, man. That's what we're doing now, man. We're going out there on the highways and byways. We're putting up these lessons, man. And we're declaring the words of the Lord, man. Rightly dividing the word of truth, contending for the gospel, contending for the faith. All right? And not letting nobody lie against the scriptures, man. Because yeah, the scripture says, I believe, therefore have I spoken, man. So our belief is the driving force to us to go out and, and speak out on the highways and byways. It says that uh, so, uh, confession is made unto salvation in the book of Romans, man. So this is a heavy part of the ministry, mm -hmm. actually confessing Yahweh about Shemiah was shot, man. This is uh, a part of the Lord receiving all the honor, glory, and praise. Shit. Like imagine if the Lord just uh, completely, he, he brings in all these plagues and nobody knows the power that's doing it or why. They will come up with all these conclusions. The mm -hmm. Lord has us out there. So that when all this shit hits the fan, it's known. Well, right. And also they won't have no excuses. Yeah, Esau. Esau, uh, he comes up with a, a, a carnal theory right. to everything. Right. You know? Right. Like there's a, a video That's out right. there with this devil. This devil is is trying to explain the partner of the Red Sea. See, what had happened was the, right. end, the wind, the way the wind was the blue blowing, from the east. What, try to blame it, it on Mother it, Nature? Yeah, that, that's, that's what they yeah. do. That's what they do. They say it's, it's, it's natural occurrences that, 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 that just happens. No, man. This is, this is, the, this is the, the divine work right here, man. This is the workings of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And guess what? His servants, his men, is here to declare that unto you, man. To let you know that this is this this is the hand. Hey, surely this is the hand of God, yeah, man. Yeah, right, 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 yeah. Right. The Lord is going to show you niggas that, man. Mm -hmm. Just like how He showed those Egyptians, man, in Egypt. Esau, here it is. Esau got his little his little his little hawk. Oh, yeah, I can I can make tornadoes right. and earthquakes. I can do that too. No, the Lord is going to yeah. do something. He's going to perform something so you know. This yeah. is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Right. Well, hey, it's the same in Egypt because the the uh, the the damn wizards they was like, well, we can do that too. We can do that too. Oh, it got to the point where it's like, we can't do that. <laughs> what is this? Well, we ain't never done that before, right? That's what the Lord's gonna shut. Hey, the Lord's gonna shut down all your wizards, them spirits that you go to. Your your uh uh uh, uh well, your, your uh, yeah. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Was it Isaiah? I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, 47. 47. Okay, forty-seven. Weak ass miracles they they perform. Right. Yeah, with the RFID chip and all that, man. Hey, it's gonna be marvelous when the Lord sends His power and His yep. man get power. You know. Oh, because you, like, imagine it, like, shoot, uh, here it is, all right, he's, he's so-called uh, uh, allowing the lame to walk through the RFID chip, and then you got the men of the Lord doing it. Right. He's yeah. like, well, I can do that. Well, the Lord's going to give his men more power and so on and so forth, man. Because the Lord said what? He said that the, uh, the wisdom of men is foolishness, foolishness with the Most High, because what happened? Moses' rod turned into a serpent. Sure, his rod was his power. The yep. serpent represents wisdom. This wisdom we have is the power. The, right. the scripture says that the, uh, our power, our God, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, is a power of knowledge, man. Yeah, Meaning of this word. And what happened? It swallowed up their two serpents, man. Uh -huh. Showing you that the wisdom we have is more stronger than the wisdom that these heathens have, yeah. man. That's Starting right. with Esau Edom. He's the modern day Egyptian, uh -huh. man. Mm -hmm. The right hand is stronger than the left. So so, so our, our power, man, our wisdom is stronger than what they got, man. That's right. You know? Yahweh already got the victory, and we got it through him, man. We just got to believe it and keep the, and, 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 uh, what they say, it, uh, maintain the line, man. Mm -hmm. Keep the course, you know? Mm -hmm. I got one real quick. Just say, like, when you arm wrestling, when you arm wrestling with one, they use it two hands trying to get, you know what I'm saying, yeah. overpower, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, what we have, man. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. We, we just take it one hand. They use right. two hands. Slowly, just like, mm. and, and who you do that <laughs> with? You do that with a little kid. He's like, you can use both your hands, and you just like, you might you might act like, okay, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. Uh, uh, and they just slam that motherfucker down. <laughs> he put down, his whole bro. body in it. He put his yeah. body weight using <laughs> yeah. his legs yeah. and shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know? In the air, he's standing on it. And the Lord said, I'm going to show that the Egyptians are but men. He, right. he, he's going to toy with you, man. He's going to fucking bring down your whole enterprise at the top of your peak, man. At noonday, man, arrows is going to fly down upon your kingdom, man. Well, that's uh, What's that? Uh, is it Isaiah 31? 
The Lord said that the uh, uh, the Egyptians, their yeah. horses is but right. flesh, right. man. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, so so this devil got tanks and shit. They, 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 they ain't got spirits in them, man. Look at look at look at our air force. When I say our air force, man, I'm talking about the the chariots of Israel, man, mm -hmm. and the horsemen thereof. Like Elisha cried out in the Book of Kings, man. The capability, the maneuverability that they able to do, Esau is fucking flabber, flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. Esau is flabbergasted by that, man. <laughs> he like, man, how the hell? How did it move like that? How it move that fast? How can it maneuver like? Nigga, that's our power, man. Right, right. You got it. Uh, this is uh, Ezekiel 10 and verse 9. It says, And when I looked, behold, four wheels by the cherubims, one wheel by the cherub, and another wheel by another cherub, and the appearance of the wheels as the color of a barrel stone. And as their appearances, they four had one likeness as if a wheel had been in the midst of a wheel. And when they went, they went upon their four sides. They turned not as they went. But to the place whither the head looked, they followed it. They turned not as they went. So that's I, I believe that's going into the, what the chariots, man. All right, we uh when you go into the word cherub, I believe isn't it synonymous with the uh, I look yeah, it up. It's something about the chariot and how it moves, right. man. You know, it didn't uh, airplane when it comes, it has the bank. Yeah, it you didn't have, have to do that, man. A chariot goes up. Uh, a chariot moves like that, man. Esau has no fucking uh, vehicle that's able to move like that, man. Right. You know? It was these uh, people that were in the uh, military. Um, they had, uh, spoke of an account where uh, they saw a chariot come out of the sea, all right, out of the water. And then it was no water dripping from it or anything. It just came out of it. And, and it, they were they were fucking flabbergasted. Yeah, uh, 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 <laughs> man, I've seen one. Flabbergasted. <laughs> 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 I've seen one uh, 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 some years ago, man. Some years ago, it was these motherfuckers on the sea. And they was recording. All of a sudden, a chariot just went into the water. Yeah, bro. yeah. It didn't no, make no splash exactly. or none of that. It just went down and whoop. And they was like, man, what the fuck? How the fuck was it able to do that, man? Right. Just like when the Lord would go through a wall, you know, in yeah. uh, the, the New Testament. Right. It's like, hey, that's the power that we're dealing with, man. You know, the Lord is going to show forth his might and his power. Hey, as the scripture says, when the Lord or when men will not believe that thou art of full power, thou showest thy strength. And in, um, among them that know it, thou makest their boldness manifest. So the Lord is going to show forth his might and his strength so that he receives all the honor, glory, and praise, man. All right. And when you go to the word cherub in Ezekiel, the 10th chapter, it, it goes back to the Hebrew word, um, karawab, ka ka and it says, uh, and, uh, an angelic being, uh, as guardians of Eden, it says, as the chariot of Yahweh. Right. You know? it, uh, pretty sure it goes back to the word, uh, marakab, or karawab. Uh, chariot. Yeah. Yeah. Marakab. Is of, uh, yep. Ma of. And uh, Rakab is the, I believe it's the, uh, the chariot, you know, or vehicle. I got one real quick if I may though. This is Isaiah chapter 52 and verse uh, uh, 8. It says, uh, I am Yahweh, that is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. So that's right. The Lord isn't going to allow any other false entity, uh, entity, false God or Jesus Christ or whatever to receive all the honor and glory for the destruction that he brings upon this planet Earth, man. All right, he's not going to give that into another uh, pow uh, another false god, man. It says, "Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them." So that's what the Lord is doing. All right, the Scripture says that he, uh, um, the uh, Lord will not do anything, but he revealeth his secrets uh, to his servants, the prophets. So the prophets are revealing the secrets of the, of uh, what Yahweh Shem is going to do. And these people get amazed. They hear about, oh, you guys are talking about a so-called yeah. alien invasion and this and that and the third. They're supposed to react like that. So then when it actually happens, all right, they can only attribute it to our power, all right, because they've never heard of that. What are you talking about? You're talking about uh, alien invasion, wild beast, and this and that and the third. Well, yeah, we're saying that through the scriptures, all right, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to be doing these things, man. And they aren't a aliens. They're angels of the Most High. And the Lord already all, uh, always confirms the word of his uh, servants, man. Yep. Because even in these accounts, different things that happen, uh, people that so-called they don't believe or they just think we crazy and shit like that, and then next thing you know, they have a dream about it, you know? Yeah, yeah. But just to say real quick, and then he going to get that. Oh, that's, but hey, just to make a oh, comment, that's my, man, that is prophet when this stuff know. happened, man, oh, then you're going to know that a prophet was amongst you, that's man. It. You know what I'm saying? You're going to know, like, <laughs> damn, that what they were saying... 
was true and it was real. They wasn't crazy. I was the one that was crazy. Because yep. y'all didn't believe it when we was telling you that these things was going to happen until you know. What well, have our wickedness profited us, man? You know? What's the second? Uh, is it three? Five. 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 It's five. five. It's five. five. Yeah. This is yeah. Isaiah 44 and 26. It says, I'm going to start at 25. I'm going to start at 24. It says, Thus saith Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself, that frustrated the tokens of the liars. Mm -hmm. The Lord frustrated those Egyptians, man. The Lord is frustrating Esau and his, and his, and his devices, man. What does it say in the book of Job that uh, they're not able to uh, 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 accomplish the their enterprise, man? Roughly paraphrasing, mm -hmm. you know, it says that frustrated the tokens of the liars and maketh the diviners mad. <laughs> that turneth wise mm -hmm. men backward and maketh their knowledge foolish. Right. And that's <laughs> what we doing through the spirit. The Lord said, I've called it called the base men, the, the, the men who are nothing, man, to confound the things that are, man. These established as uh, 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 colleges and theologian schools, man. They they are something in this world, and we're nothing. We, uh, uh, you know, majority of the brothers didn't go to college, no theologian school. Unlearned men confounding the hell out of these so-called wise men of this world, man. Verse 26, this is the point. That confirmeth the word of his servants and performeth the counsel of his messengers, man. Hey, the Lord's word would not come back void. In the book of Sirach, the 36th chapter, the Lord said, let my prophets be found faithful, I man. Why? Answer. Go ahead. In Sirach 36 and verse uh, 16, it says, reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. That's it, man. The prophets will be found faithful. Why? Because they're speaking Yahweh Basham Yahushua's words as it's written in Ezekiel, the third chapter. He said, eat the whole row and go speak with them my words that I will put in thy mouth, man. You see? So we're speaking the words of the Lord. The Lord said that my words will not come back void. It would it would accomplish whithersoever I sent it, man. It says, uh, back in Isaiah 44 and 26, that confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers, that saith to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be inhabited, and to the cities of Judah ye shall be built, and I will raise up the decayed places thereof, man. And that's what's happening through the spirit right now, man. You got Donald Trump and these goddamn heathens and them Khazars over there. Oh, yeah, Donald is liking them to Cyrus. He's building the third temple and all that bullshit, man. The third temple was being built right before your eyes, man. According to Revelation 11 chapter, man, it says that the spirit entered into them and we stood upon our feet. Ezekiel, the 37 chapter, man, the spirit of life entered back into them, man. You know? This is the third uh, 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 temple being built. The brother uh, quoted the scripture. He said, "Ye are uh, are, are, are a, a lively uh, priesthood uh, to offer up uh, to offer up spiritual sacrifices, man." In the book of First Corinthians, the third chapter, it says, "We are the Most High's husbandry. We are the Most High's building, man." This is the third temple, man, and it's being built right before your eyes, man. As is written in the book of Psalms, the fiftieth chapter, the Lord said, "He's gonna set us in order right before you got them devil's face, man." And the brother had a, what was you reading on your uh, phone? You was in Isaiah 42. Uh, it was oh, yeah, 42? Because yeah, yeah. uh, the brother Benji yeah. put Isaiah 48 and 5. Because the brothers were speaking about what, man? That, hey, that the Lord is telling you these things so that you can't credit to nobody else. Exactly. This is Isaiah 48 and 5. It says, I have even from the beginning declared it to thee. Before it came to pass, I showed it thee. How did the Lord show it? Through his prophets, yeah. man. Yeah. You see? Lest thou shouldest say, my idol have done them. In my graven image, in my molten image, have commanded them. Yeah, man. So the Lord is letting you know that these things is coming to pass before you give the credit to somebody else, man. A goddamn idol. Right. No, the Lord is performing these things, man. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah. That's his name, man. Lord said, what, man? Hey, new things will I declare. The RFID chip, hey, that's a new thing, man. A, 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 a fucking device getting put into your hand. That's a new thing. You got niggas like, oh, you see? Uh, uh. Where, where is that at? You know, <laughs> you know, ho ass arguments, man. The concept of the RFID chip is ancient. It's been there. It's what branding your servants. Yeah. Oh, that oh, concept yeah. has always that, that that has been there. But the actual technology with the information mm -hmm. that's put on the chip in your hand, man, that's a new thing, man. Which goes into the Daniel's the prophecy that knowledge shall increase, man. Mm -hmm. You know that that that's that's uh, uh, it's looked at as a miracle. They say, yeah, this will fix 
It's a fix uh, different uh, 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 brain disorders that you have. This will fix this. You'll be able to open this with that and super strength or whatever. That's what they're going to push it out as, man. They're going to push it out. At, uh, they're going to push out all the benefits, but what's the side effects? So what's the downfall of it? You're going to die, man. You get that chip, no matter how good it is. Yeah, I'll put a rack on it. Yeah, that's gonna get niggas. I'll put a thousand dollars. You get the chip today, a thousand dollars. Well, that was that, that was what they was doing on uh, the first purge. Right. Oh, yeah. They was telling them uh, that if, if they took them context where they yeah. was looking at it, they was like, "Do we deposit you a certain amount of money if you participate in it, man?" Right. So it's the same thing that's gonna take place in these days to come, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and, and and I speak as a man, but uh, 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 just how uh, Esau uh, 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 does shit, man. Crash the economy. Everybody all fucked up. Ain't got no money in the whoa, whoa, whoa. Take this chip. Right. And we'll put a certain amount of money on the chip. So everybody be like, well, shit, I, I'm going to go take that. I'm hurting for cash. The money I got is useless. Right. So, man, I'm going to take this chip. And then I got fucking five racks automatically just from getting this, man. Well, it's going to make sense. It's going to make sense to take the chip unless you got faith. All right? Yeah, unless true. you got faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, a higher power, man. man. Because he's... Go ahead. Go. Nah, go ahead. Now I was gonna just say, cause imagine all the niggas that's locked up in jail, how 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 quick they gonna take that chip? Yeah, yeah. You right. take this chip, hey, you can get out of jail and and this and that. They gonna jump on that real fast. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's order out of chaos. All right, order out of chaos. You know, so he's gonna create a situation to where it's only gonna make sense to take the chip. All right, he's gonna make uh, uh, shit so hectic to where that's gonna be the only uh, reasonable thing to yeah. do, unless you got faith Thank in your how about out with shine, unless you got the understanding. Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. We know the consequences of taking that shit. All right. All right. They go lean upon that broken reed, right. man. Hey, scripture. bro. Isaiah. Isaiah. Your brother posted it already. Oh, okay. Man, that's that's right. Isaiah 36 and 6. Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand <laughs> and pierce it. So is Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to all that trust in him, man. That's it. So all that put their trust in, in this society, man, in this system, in Esau, Edom, the modern-day Pharaoh, yeah. it's like a broken, it, 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 picture an old man walking on a broken cane, man. You walking on a cane and a cane break, it, 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 it's going to go through, it's going to pierce yeah. your hand. Because right, right, right. you're putting all your weight onto yeah, that exactly. cane. Exactly. Trusting in that cane to support to you. On. So they yeah. trusting in America to support them when the dollar collapsed. And when everything collapses around them, they're going to lean upon whatever the government puts out there. It's a hard. broken reed, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's something that's not able to support you. It's exactly. going to hurt you. Yep. You know? And that's symbolic of uh, going into what? Hey, hey, all that trust in Egypt, man, you're, you're going to take that chip, man. That's right. And the scriptures say, man, that the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. So these things that he puts out as, oh, I'm trying to help you out, you know, I'm, I'm going to do this for you, are like this damn devil. Free vaccines. Free uh, flu shots and all that. Come if the devil's giving you anything for free, for free you should question. Here it is, like always, like using this example. You think this damn devil? You go to McDonald's, he say a, a chicken sandwich, a McChicken is a dollar. <laughs> you think he just? Oh, I'm, a, I'm helping. Give you one dollar, right? Big chicken. Right. <laughs> nigga, that ain't chicken. You, right. would, this nigga's <laughs> charging you for water, bro. Like he's uh, right. the the thing that uh, that is the the most of on the earth. He's charging you for. So hey, he's starting to give some shit out for free. I don't even want it, man. <laughs> yeah, don't trust that nigga, man. That's why it says never trust thine enemy. We yep. circumspect to this devil, man, and what he's doing. You know. We are not ignorant of Satan's devices, Come. as the scripture says. And trust not in your oppressor. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. uh, and I was new. I, that's, I just had songs. I finished on that. I finished on that idea. Hey, because it ultimately goes back to, man, hey, continue to push this word out, man. Continue. What's, uh, what's that? Uh, Isaiah 62 and 6. Watchmen. This is Isaiah chapter 62. No, I think that's 52. Isaiah 62, uh, uh, um, give the Lord no rest. Yeah, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 62 in verse uh, uh, 6. It says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, yeah, 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 yeah. which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Keep not silence, man. So keep we're making crying. mentions of Yahweh Bahasham yeah. Yahweh Shah. Not only uh, uh, are we making mention of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, but what comes with that? His doctrine, his teachings. Now, the priest is supposed to do what? To teach the people the difference between the clean and the unclean, the difference between the profane and what's holy, man. Hey, that, 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 accepting that RFID chip is something that's unclean, it's profane. You ought not to take that, man. You know? That's the mark of the beast according to Revelation, the 13th chapter. We're going to teach you these things. 
This is the job of the prophets, man. To what? To stand out there on the tower, man. In the book of Isaiah, the fifth chapter, the Lord said, what? I have built me a, a, a vineyard. He said, I, I, I built a hedge around him, and I built a tower. Who do you think on the tower? In the book of Micah, it says what? That the, uh, uh, the dominion shall come to you first, O tower of the flock, man. So the men that's standing on the tower, according to Habakkuk, the second chapter, man, I'm going to stand upon my watch and wait to see what he'll say unto me. So we're going to speak these words of Yahweh Bahasham Yahusha. We're not going to give him no rest until what? It says, uh, in Gip Salaki, I've said, watch them upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. That's it, man. You know, right now, the brother Benji uh, posted on the, uh, the comment board, Lamentations 2 and 16. All thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash their teeth. They say we have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we looked for. We have found. We have seen it. So is, so is Jerusalem. Are we a praise in the earth? No, man. We're a fucking byword, man. The butt of everybody's joke. Yeah, man. The way they talk shit, look down on us. You see? But it's going to come at a, a point in time where Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, you're going to be the praise in this earth, man. Thus said the Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah. He said he is not a man that he should lie. He said, he said where we was put to shame, he will give us That's fame in these countries, man. That's it. You see? So we will be exalted again, man. Israel will ride a Kwam Yasha'ala, man. Uh -huh. That's what's taking place in the book. Let's get that. Daniel 2 and 44. Because we in those days, man, like the brother quoted in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, it says, what, when men will not believe that thou art of a full power, thou showest thy strength, and among them that know it, thou makest their boldness oh, manifest, manifest, man. Yeah. So as we see in these things pop off more and more, as we see the councils and uh, the Lord is performing, the, uh, the council of his messengers, man, as we see we speak in these things and these things is happening, our boldness, our confidence, our faith should be getting uh, uh, emboldened more, increasing each and every day, man. Go ahead. This is Daniel chapter 2 and verse 44. It says, And in the days of these kings shall the most high, shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom. In the days of what kings, man? In the days of these fucking wretched, wicked, filthy ass heathens that's ruling today, man. Go ahead. That's why our Lord and Savior uh, in the book of Revelation, John seen him with many crowns upon his head, man. Because he's coming to take down all these kingdoms as it is written in Daniel 7 and 9. It says, I beheld until the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit, man. That mean what? When all these heathens was brought down. When our Lord uh, Yahweh Shai cracked those clouds, man, and every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess when he came and wrecked, shot and put hell on these goddamn people. It says, when our Lord came, man, what happened, man? All the tribes of the earth shall mourn, man. Yep. Why is that? Because that's the end game right there, man. Go ahead. It say in the days of these kings, man, what is he talking about? You read up, he's talking about what? The Ten Toes. The Ten Toes is talking about what? Uh, uh, this current power structure, man. The EU, NATO, America, this current power structure. So it's talking about the days that we're living in right now. In the times in this lifetime, man. In, the, in these days, in these times, right? Shout out most high the power of heaven, set up a kingdom. But you got it. It says, uh, and it, this is uh, Daniel 2 and 44. And in the days of these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom. Which shall never be destroyed. Woo! Which shall never be destroyed, man. Mm -hmm. What does it say in the book of Sirach? It says that a, a, a man's days are numbered, but the numbers of Israel is Why, eternal, yeah, man. Heavy. You understand? That's why the Lord wrote in the book of Peter. Let's get that. Bible Kushah, 2 Peter 1. and go start at 4. Finish that, brother. It says, which shall never be destroyed. It says, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Woo! And it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. Man, that's what we're fighting for, according to Revelation 2. Yahweh shall say to him that overcometh and keeping my works to the end, I will give him power over the nations. And he shall rule them and break them in pieces like a rod. Uh, do a, do a, with a rod of iron, do, do a vase, man. Roughly paraphrasing, man. And that's a part of what? Go ahead with that, Peter. This is First Peter chapter one. Second, verse, Second Peter Second one and Peter four. chapter one and verse four it says, "Where in the, this is spirit?" Because when I read one and ten earlier, I was going to start up. But this is uh, Second Peter chapter one and verse four it says, "Whereby are, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises." About what ruling eternity, ruling over these nations, man, being a praise in the earth, mm -hmm. having all the resources brought to us, man. Hey, hey, hey in, in the ancient world, the uh, the, the priest. This, this is what's cold, Joe. 
Israel would give 10% to the priest. And the regular priest would give 10% of that to the high priest, man. So the high priest got the best of the best. We are considered high priests after the order of Melchizedek, 144,000 men. We're going to get the best of the best of the world right. to come, man. The first fruits. Pastor Kabar did a video on The best of the best in the world to come. A refreshed earth. The earth producing its abundance right. and its strength again, man. And we're going to get the best of what the earth can offer, man. Damn, the street is going to be paved with gold. So that's going to be, the gold is going to be something little in them days. So well, well, yeah, just imagine yeah. what we're going to be Fruit, getting. Gold. That's what it said in the king. It said that during, during King Solomon's time God, in the God, book God, of Chronicles, you know, it said that he had it in abundance like that. That was like iron in that yeah. day. Yeah. Right. Like right now, diamonds, they look at that as some diamonds, right. man. And, uh, that's all the other precious stones, man, diamonds going to be looking like a, right. you have a cubic old, zirconia. Yeah, you have <laughs> just a window. Just I'll uh, make this window out of diamonds. Out of diamonds. Well, no, you the know? Lord said thy window shall be built up with a, a carbuckle and, and, and yeah. topaz. And, and like uh, our gates and walls will be built with precious stones, man. Mm -hmm. That's what it said in the book of Tobit, man. You see? When when these different nations would come visit King Solomon in, in, in the kingdom, man, they thought they thought the servants and the doorkeepers and the men were 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 were, were, were like, God damn, even your doorkeeper, your <laughs> doorkeeper, look like a king. Yeah, well, you know, that was the king. There was there was royalty going to King Solomon's uh, uh, spot, and they was looking at the um the the the, the doorkeeper like, Mo, damn, you dressed better than me. More decked out than he was. Right, yeah. and, and I'm a king. Yeah. And you, you know, a, a servant right. to the king. They can bow down to him. <laughs> All they, nah, I'm the and, and that was during King Solomon's reign. That was during the first house, man. Right, right. In the book of Haggai, the Lord said that this latter house shall be greater than the first house, man. And the Lord said, we'll surpass uh, uh, the greatness of King Solomon, these lilies. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, bro, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. The Lord, the Lord said uh, 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 these lilies, it, 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 uh, uh, King Solomon was not as great as one of these lilies, right, man. Right, right. And in the book of Sirach, you read, and it, it explains that those lilies are symbolic for the elect of Israel, man. So we exceeding in great and precious promises, man. Like it just said. Go ahead, bro. It says, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. Whew. This is precious to us, man. Because because we believe it, man. Exactly. Because we believe it, man. We, we, we believe that we're going to be ruling these heathens, man. We believe that our streets are going to be paved in gold. We believe the words that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh have promised our forefathers, man. In the book, we did the lesson last week. In the book of Hebrews, it says, These all died not receiving yeah. the promises, man, but having seen them afar off, man. These was thousands of years ago, but they was like, man, hey, 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 we going to receive that. We going to see that, man. Now we here at the doors. Go ahead. That by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped. Escape the corruption that is in the world through lust. Called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Man, that's the church, man. Go ahead. And beside this, giving all diligence. So this is what we have to do, man. Since the Lord have called us into this, man, this is what we have to do. Uh -huh. Give all diligence, meaning all effort. Give thyself wholly into it, all your energy. You see? Oh. Exhaust yourself within this, man. Addicted. Everything revolves around this truth, man. You make time for everything else. This is the priority. Go ahead. It says, and beside this, giving all diligence, add to your add to your faith virtue. So the first thing we get is faith. Uh -huh. And then add to our faith virtue. That word virtue goes back into morals, a standard. Mm -hmm. That's what we learn. Once we find out we're the Israelites, we learn that we have to live according yeah. to a standard. Let's, you start to yeah. grow your beard out. Stop, stop lining up. You stop lining your, your, your stop head. Pork. Yeah, right? Put the blunt down. Yep. Uh, uh, and the whole night, everything you you start keeping the Sabbath, you know that comes with it. Uh, uh, get away from your woman on, on on when she's on her monthly, you know, and then it, it it continues. Then you continue to grow from there. It says, um, it says, add. It says, and beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue uh -huh. and to virtue knowledge. And to virtue knowledge, because what what what's the standard? That is our knowledge according to Deuteronomy four. I have start, taught you statutes and judgments. Is your wisdom. wisdom. This is your, your this is your wisdom in the sight of the nations, man. So that virtue comes that knowledge. You have what? 
You have you 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 know the laws. You know the things that you must apply to your life in order to walk, in order to live righteously or or live perfectly and or acceptably in the eyes of Yahweh by Shami Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. Into knowledge, temperance. Into knowledge, temperance. So the more you learn these laws, the more you learn these things, you gain what? Self control. Mm. Now you know how to bridle yourself in certain areas, man, in certain things. I can't give myself over to this too much. I can't do this too much. Because the scripture says what? Examine yourself. Give not thyself over to uh, 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 something that's uh, detrimental to you. You know? I'm roughly paraphrasing the scripture in Sirach. Because it says, prove what's evil for your soul and yeah, give it yeah. not unto it. Go not in the way where that will fall. Yeah, yeah. Be not confident in a plain way. It's, a, it's another one yeah. right there, you know? It's part of like four scriptures. Yeah, having that balance. Yeah. Yeah. Having that self-control. You bridling yourself, you know? Uh, hey, the scripture says, uh, all things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful, but I will not be brought under the power of any. That's right. right. Meaning that you aren't going to allow certain things that you may be to able to you. do, all right, to control you, to overmaster you. Giving your, uh, uh, letting your flesh take over to do those things, the balance, you know? And to knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, patience. Oh, so now when you learn that self-control, that's what you go through now. Suffering. Yeah, yeah. Because now, uh, okay, that it's the control, Sabbath. Yeah. This is this. You know, she calling me. She hot. Now I got. Now I'm hot in the flesh too. Now that's a part of my patience. That's a part of my suffering that I gotta endure, man. Yes, now yes, you die, you're, kill, you're killing your flesh. And that's a part of that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you see how you add to these certain things. That's diligence, man. In applying yourself to the will to your how about shine y'all shine. Not, not living after my lust and my desire. But no, after the will of the Lord, that I may yep. please Him yep. that called me to be a soldier, man. That's right. Go ahead, bro. It says, and to patience, godliness. Godliness is what? That reverence is the fear. So when you go and start going through these things, this patience, this suffering, get a uh, brother, get Romans uh, uh, 5 and start at 3, Bible Kusha. Matter of fact, you start at 1 on that. Romans 5 and 3, it says. Start at 1. Oh, it's a lot. 5 and 3, it says, therefore, being five just. And one. <laughs> <laughs> he started at 1, but he said 3. Oh, hey. Ka -ka. hey, this is Romans 5 and 1. It says. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with the Most High through our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, by whom also we have access by faith into the, this grace wherewith, wherein we stand mm -hmm. and rejoice in hope of the glory of the Most High Power, Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations it also. We, it says we glory in tribulations also. Why is that? Go ahead. Knowing that tribulation work of patience. It does what? It work of patience. So the different things we go into, man, it, it work it, it shows forth that what? That patience, man. Go ahead. And patience experience. And patience experience. So the experience you get from the suffering, from the patience, from the different situations you find yourself in, you get that reverence, that godly, that godliness. That word godliness goes back into a, a, a healthy fear of the most high, man. Through what? Through the tribulation. Through, through your patience, through your sufferings, through the experiences that you go through in this walk. Go ahead. And experience hope. Uh, and experience gains the what? The hope, according to Sarah 2. So when we go through these different things, when we suffer, uh, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself soul for temptation and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. So these different things are going to come upon us and we see the Lord working with, through, with, with, with within us in these different situations, man. That increases our hope that the Lord is delivering us out of these different situations that we might find ourselves in. Go ahead. And hope make of not a shame, because the Lord of Yahweh Bashem Shai is shed abroad in our hearts. That's it, man. And hope make of us not a shame. Yeah. So these things is all adding to what, man? To our betterment in the spirit. So to go back to that, it says what? It says, and to knowledge temperance this is first second peter chapter one and verse six and to knowledge temperance and to temperance patience and to patience godliness and to patience godliness because through that patience we learn experience and through the experience we know that the lord is there man we we we, we, we might have failed at some of them and the lord jacked our ass up which decreased our fear you know we might have been in certain jams and the Lord delivered us out of that. And it, it increases our fear yeah. and our hope. Like, man, hey, the water, the yeah. Lord could have jacked my ass up, yeah. but he had mercy. The water, how about shot me, I was shot. Even that increases your fear, your yeah. hope. 
You know? Yeah, it makes you do better because you're looking at the situation like, damn, I didn't even deserve the Lord to get me out like that. He got me right out of that motherfucker, and, and I could have done this better. I could have done that better, but he still got me through it. So then when you start getting presented with more things, like, man, let me make sure that I'm doing the best that I can so that when the uh, uh, when the uh, situation does present itself, it's like, man, I'm calling on the Lord in confidence, and I'm not thinking, like, man, I fucked up here, I fucked up there. And you you know, then the demons try to come mess with you, man. That that, that causes you to be better for the Lord, man. But uh, it's also and it's also a beautiful thing to be amongst the brothers, cause them brothers, your brothers that love you, they gonna point out them things that hey, you know, that blemish or that spot that you didn't see on your shirt or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's that's what's beautiful to be amongst the brothers, man, and not a uh, not amongst wicked ass niggas, man. Cause uh, if you amongst wicked ass niggas, they gonna they gonna glorify that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? They gonna, you know what I'm saying? Be like, yeah, woo, woo, this and that. They not gonna correct they you, send man. You off. You know, they'll send you off unto death. Right. You know. And the scripture says that the body edifies itself in love. You know. So being amongst the body, you're gonna get built up. All right, edifying one another through the correction that you go through and being around men of understanding that are gonna, uh, um, uh, they're gonna uh, judge. You know, judge you. We're judges. You know. Uh, that wasn't wise, and so on and so forth. But sorry. But um, let me just get that thing. Proverbs uh, nine and eight. It says, "Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke, rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee." Hey, so a wise man will be able to take rebuke and and, and accept it, and be like, "Man, that's love." You know what I'm saying? You know, but a scorner, they gonna hate you. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, man. So, hey, that's the scripture to live by, man, right yeah. there, you know. If you're a wise man, you're going to accept reproof, reproof and reproach, you know what I'm saying, and all that, man, with correction, you know. But this, back in Second Peter 1 and verse 7, it says, And to godliness, brotherly kindness. Yep, so through that fear is it, what? The Lord yeah. said, you can't say you love me, but hate your brother that you see every day. Nah, man, you know. So you know the Lord is working. You know the Lord, hey, hey, hey upon these two, hang all the law. You know, love your how away, your how shot, all thy heart, mind, soul, body, and, and, and spirit, and love thy neighbor as thyself, man. I believe in the book of James, he calls it the royal law. Uh -huh. You know, that's, the, hey, that's what makes us royalty, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, and to knowledge, it's like it, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. And that's the totality of the work. You out in the highways and hedges, man. Hey, a brother call you three in the morning, you getting out your bed to go go help that brother out, whatever he need, you know? That's the totality of this work that we're performing. That that that, that charity go the Greek word, I believe it's agape, uh -huh. and it goes into a love feast, man. I mean, it, it's just a, a overabundance of love, man. And that's what you experience with, with within Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, within the body, man. Within the brotherhood. You know, men who 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 who, who care about your well-being, man. Because like the brother read in that Proverbs, man, they're going to correct you. They're going to tell you the things that, 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 that's hindering you from growing in the spirit. They're going to tell you to, uh, 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 hey, brother, move that stumbling block out the way. Brother, don't step that way. You know? Yeah, there's a trap right there. You know what I'm saying? I almost got my foot caught in that motherfucker. Don't step right there. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. The brothers come and tell you something. It's like, shit, I've been there. I've been there. I've done that. I, I felt that. You know? And uh, it, you don't want to go through that. You know? But it says... Um, Second Peter chapter one and verse eight it says, "For if these things be in you, what things? Those things that he said mm -hmm. that you got to give diligence in. Yeah. Go ahead. For if these things be in you and abound, up oh, abound, grow, right? They make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful. I have ordained you to bring forth fruit, yep. right? It says in the knowledge of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And that's why John said what he said all." Oh, oh, oh. All the trees that's not bearing forth fruit, the axe is laid to the trees. Roughly paraphrasing, man. If you ain't bearing forth that good fruit, man, it's going to get cut down. But if you're giving diligence to apply these things in the spirit, adding to your faith, what's the faith? The faith is, 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 is Yahweh Shah King, the record that, that he left of his only begotten son. All that is a part of what? That the Lord sent down men to teach you, to guide you. He gave us passes according to his heart that will feed us with knowledge and wisdom and understanding. That's all a part of the faith, man. So that's what? Giving double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and following the example that's set before us, man. That's the faith. Teaching what was taught. Continue thou in the things that thou hast learned, being assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them from, right? 
and continuing in the walk of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh If these things be in you and abound, they will make you that you shall ne neither be barren nor unfruitful. Meaning what? Meaning you're always producing in the spirit, man. Because you're diligent to add these things unto your walk. Go ahead. Verse 9, it says, But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off. But our forefathers that had the faith, it says that they seen these things afar off, man. These was thousands of years ago when they seen the end. Enoch prophesied of Yahweh Shah coming with the ten thousands of heaven, man. Still had faith. Bro, that was all the way back in Genesis, bro. Enoch prophesied of Yahweh Shah's return, bro. We're gonna see right then, like in Acts, like you know, they was hoping, they was hoping that the Lord was gonna come then. They thought it was gonna be that time. Yeah. Is this is this the time you're gonna restore the kingdom to uh, Israel? And then imagine how was I telling them that they had to be heartbroken. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, and it ain't for you to know the time and season. But Terry in Jerusalem until you get the uh, that 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 that, 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 that wow. the, the Holy Spirit, man. Yeah. And when they received the Holy Spirit, they understood certain things and they knew. It wasn't in their lifetime. Right, right, right. So they knew it like, hey, well, yeah. we got to preach this word and, and, and hey, you know. Because even in Thessalonians, he said, hey, don't let anybody, uh, uh, I forget how it's worded specifically. It's like there has to be a falling away and so on and so forth. He pretty much gave him the rundown. You know, like pretty much, hey, it ain't going to happen right now, man. You know, but even knowing that, it wasn't just like, oh, fuck it, I'm going to just not do the work no more. No, nah, they kept pushing and had the hope. Like our forefathers did, that they were going to see those promises, receive it, in this time that we're in right now. They had faith in the resurrection. That's it. You know, that we that, that, that we would rise again, man. Mm -hmm. That we would be on this earth again, <laughs> you know, living this thing out, man. You know, you got it. It says, but he that lacketh these things is blind. It said, where there's no vision of people perish and cannot see afar off. And have forgotten that he was purged from his sin, from his old sins. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. How do you do that? By doing all those. By doing those things that pe Peter, which is what our King, King David, the man after the Most High's heart, yeah. he gave you the blueprint. He gave us the blueprint of what to do in order to continually abound in the Spirit. Go ahead. Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Uh -huh. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Read the next verse. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly. Ooh, he said an entrance is going to be ministered unto us abundantly. Go ahead. Into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So we apply those things, man. That entrance, that it becomes wide. Yeah, right, that, that's right. the, the straight gate. It's going to start becoming wide the closer we get to the end. Because it says what? That the uh, the path of the just shine brighter and, and brighter, brighter to, the, to that perfect day, day man. Yep. That's why Paul said in Hebrews, the sixth chapter, he says what? Leaving the principles of Yahweh Shah, let us go on to a perfect man. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture. So that's what? That's growing in the faith. That's growing in the, in the knowledge. Perfecting our walk in the spirit, man. Killing off this flesh as much as we can daily, you know? But that's all I had through the spirit, man. If your brothers got any precepts, anything, closing statements, and you know. Hey, man. So, hey, 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 brothers. Lord willing, that was edifying, man. The water to all you brothers for tuning in. The water for uh, you few sisters that's out there as well. We give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai Basham, Makakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel of truth and sincerity, always in charity, who's rightly dividing the word of truth directly and correctly. Peace, blessings, salutations to you, brothers, man. Shalom. Shalom. Laila Toa.